so I'm back today and I'm going to be filming a um, thrift store haul. I went to Plato's Closet and Goodwill, but I, but I only got one thing from Goodwill, but I'll still show it to you. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So, um, the, I did not buy all of this in one trip. I went, like, periodically. I think I went, like, twice um, within the past week. So, anyways, okay. So, the first thing, um, this is from Plato's Closet, and I don't really know why I liked this. I just did. Um, and it's originally from Forever 21 Men, and I tend to find a lot of Forever 21 Men's clothing at, um, Plato's Closet, so, um... I don't know, but this is just a long sleeve gray sweater and it just has this like lion head on it. I really like this a lot. Um, I've already worn it. I already washed um, all of these clothes so that I can, you know, be prepared to start wearing them. But this one I've already worn. I wore it with just like a puffer vest and stuff. So I really do like this one a lot. This one was $4.50. Um, Plato's Closet was having like a 50% off sale, so this one was four fifty. It was originally like nine dollars, so that one was a pretty good deal. So I got that. Um, the next thing is I really like this a lot, um, and yeah. So this is just a green zip-up jacket. It's originally from Zara, and I really like it. You know, the quality is really good and stuff, and I really like the lining. It's like this striped polyester lining. And the zipper is really nice and substantial. It just said Zara right there. And yeah, I really like this. This one was $5. It was originally $10. Um, but I really do like it and it's really nice. So I got that. Um, the next thing... Oh, this is the one thing that I got from Goodwill. Um, I obviously won't get anywhere out of this right now. So I can break this out during the spring or summer. But this is just a short sleeve um, H&M um, button down that I found at Goodwill. It was like $3.25. I really like the colors on this a lot. Um, it's just really nice for the spring. I can even wear this like during Easter. Um, so maybe I might wear this this Easter. I don't know. But I really do like the colors on this. And the material feels really nice. It still feels really crisp and brand new. So really like that. Um, okay, so the next thing, um, I found from Plato's Closet was this Forever 21, um, camouflage army jacket. Let me back up a little bit. This, like, um, army jacket. It buttons all the way from top to bottom, and it's got pockets everywhere. It's really nice and lightweight, too, so this can also be, um, transferred into the spring and summer because it's very lightweight. So, I really like this. This one was $5, so... I got that. Um, the next thing is also from, it's also a Forever 21 brand, yeah. So this is originally from Forever 21. Um, and I found this at Plato's Closet. It's just a really nice, um, thick camel color waffle knit sweater. Um, I've already worn this. I really like it a lot. Um, it looks really good on. And this one was $6. So I got that. Um... The next thing is this, uh, I think this was the only thing that I bought that wasn't on sale. It was just regular price, but, um, it's okay. Uh, this is originally from H&M and it's just a black plaid long sleeve that's collarless. So it's just like a long button down, but there's no collar. It just goes, you know, straight down with the buttons and things. And it's got a pocket here in the front. I really do like this a lot. I really like the fact that there's no collar. And, yeah, I really like it. And it was $9, so got that. That one was not on sale. Um, coming down to the last few things, I found this. Um, I seen this the first time that I went to Plato's Closet, but I just passed by it because I'm not really a fan of this, like, polka dot trend. I think it's just too feminine. But I've been seeing a lot of, like, polka dot trend clothes for guys in, like, stores at the mall. And I actually saw a guy one time wearing, um, a polka dot button-up. And, uh, yeah. But 
You can probably barely even tell that these are polka dots unless you're really like up close and personal, but from afar, I don't think you can really tell. But anyways, this is from the brand Charles and a Half. I don't really know where you can find that brand at, but it's just um, the lightest denim um, wash like you can imagine with some white polka dots. And I really like this one a lot. This one I believe was like $5.50. So yeah, got that. Um, last couple of things. So I found this. This is from the brand Super Dry. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Super Dry brand. But it's a Japanese company I believe. Yeah, Japanese. And you can find their clothes at like Off Sats Fifth, um, Neiman Marcus, and Bloomingdale. So like those high-end retail stores. And they... I remember going to the mall one time and I walked into the super dry store and I just literally almost like collapsed and died because I love their clothes um, but they are pretty pricey so for something like this it will probably be like 80 or 90 dollars just for this but I found it at Plato's Closet for a steal you guys aren't even gonna believe but this is just a green plaid button down it's long sleeve and then I kind of just like cut the sleeve a little bit and it's got the super dry logo um, right here in the front pocket. And the buttons are really nice and big. They're really thick too. Um, and yeah, I really do like this. I cannot wait to start wearing it. This one was $5.50. It was originally $11 and it was half off. So it ended up being $5.50, which is not bad if you are familiar with the super dry brand. So I got that. And the last thing for you guys, this is also one of the favorite things that I found. This is originally from H&M, and it's just a regular black plaid hoodie, and it zips up, it zips up, and then it has these, like, toggles, too. So you can zip it up and then, like, maybe to cinch it up a little bit more, add the toggles. So that's what I really liked about it. Um, I don't know. I really liked this when I tried it on, and this one was $4.50, so... I really like that. That one was also such a good steal. So if you all have any further questions, as always, please feel free to ask. Follow me on IG. I probably might hit up Plato's Closet again um, tomorrow before I head off to work, but who knows. So yeah, if you all have any further questions, like I said, as always, please feel free to ask. Thank you all for watching and subscribing, and I will see you 